With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. In its first year as a program, the Legacy Hockey Team won nine games in the WDA. The Sabres have already passed that mark with two weeks left in the regular season. As Jeff Roberts reports, Legacy Hockey might be only two years in, but the Sabres have established themselves as one of the best in the West. With a third place finish in the WDA last season, Legacy Hockey made an immediate impact in the region. This winter, no one overlooked the Sabres. You know, we were picked as the preseason number one, which to me doesn't mean a whole lot until you actually uh, drop the puck and play the game. The puck dropped in late November. After starting the season with three wins, two losses, and four overtime games, along came the new year, and the Sabres rattled off eight straight. All four lines have started stepping up and scoring. We just really came together as a team more, it feels like, since the new year. Mario Lamaru took over the program last year, and as its head coach, He's willed methods onto his players that he used when he was their age. Keeping our guys on the edge is about showing up for practice every single day, making sure that no one's comfortable in their position. You know, we, we have a lot of movement within our lineup. You're kind of comfortable being uncomfortable, and I lived pretty much my whole life uh, that way throughout my career, and I just think it was a valuable lesson for me to improve. Not only are they improving on the ice because of effort, the Sabres are also improving because their school has supported them since day one. Everyone was excited to play for their own school and represent them. There was a good following around it within our school, and I think it really just motivated us to play better. I, I think it means a lot to be able to play for your school, and I think it was a great, great thing for our community. You know, you probably added 40 spots for kids to continue to be playing hockey at all three of the schools. The school and community have grown with the program, and now closing in on the end of year two, they're riding success one wave at a time. It's about just showing up. Take care of your next shift, take care of your next game. Don't look too far ahead, but put those pieces in place so we're giving ourselves a chance to compete at the end of the year. Legacy has four games left in the regular season before the WDA tournament. In Bismarck, for your news leader, I'm Jeff Roberts. The first of those four gets going in less than an hour at the VFW Sports Center. Legacy and Century are tied for first in the WDA. Each are on an eight-game winning streak. See the highlights of that one tonight at 10. Will Madler threw for over 5,000 yards and 62 touchdowns at Bismarck High. Will led the Demons to a state championship before heading to play college football in Aberdeen. Well, at Northern State, he started 11 games for the Wolves last year. Next year, Madler will be playing for Dickinson State. He's going to the Blue Hawks as a grad transfer. Pete Stanton signed 29 athletes today, including Wilkinson, Celia Nelson from Dickinson High, Mandan's Alex Wagner and Nolan Johnson. Trey Swanson is from Beach. May Stuber and Grant Keyes play for the Bulldogs, and Kyson Kaler is a running back from Hazen. KFYR TV and Midway Lanes started the Bowling Classic 37 years ago. Saturday and Sunday of this week is when we find out which one of the 120 competitors will earn the championship. Getting to that part that you see on TV on Sunday is not an easy task. The goal on day one is to try and make the cut. Only 30 bowlers earn a spot to Sunday. And from that group, only five will make the stepladder finals. You got to make it through Saturday, get through those eight games when we've got all 120 out there. It's a kind of a grueling day. You got to stay patient and, you know, make good shots, throw some good scores, get through that. And once you make Sunday, that's where you got to have your head completely in the game and full mental focus because you're going to be bowling against, you know, some of the best around. Sunday's TV show begins at 1230 Central Time. He's been famous his entire life because famous is his first name. J.T. Faribault profiles famous left hand from United Tribes Wednesday in the Sports Spotlight. I love that name. The all-name team, yep. All right, we'll be right back after this. <laughs> 